<laughs> if you have ever followed my channel for some time and you know me on social media, you know that I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy. And throughout the year, this game has all sorts of events, mostly coinciding with holidays such as Easter, Christmas, some of the Japanese holidays during the summer, but um, occasionally they have some of these events that are connected to other properties, like the Monster Hunter event, and also Near Automata, which are now permanent events in the game. But they occasionally do these ones that are one-offs or only happen occasionally, like the Final Fantasy XV event, which recently happened. Now they have a new event, which is coming up, just for Final Fantasy XVI. In fact, it's recently started. That's what we're going to be playing through today. And hopefully, hopefully, thank Yoshi P, we will not, not get a dreaded Forspoken event. Oh my god, I hope we don't. Please, please, no, no Forspoken event. Anyway, let's go play this right now. And here we are in Nimza Lamenta, but we need to be a new dog. So let's head there. If I remember, he is somewhere... The quest giver for this is... What the hell? Okay, what's going on here? what I was expecting to run into. Now, which job should I do this quest as? I have options. This is Sage, which is a healer class, more of a... more of a shielding healer. healer. Not nearly as potent a healer as White Mage. White Mage is the most potent of the healers. Just some immense healing power. Not a lot of DPS. Of course, healers don't put out a lot of DPS. And, of course, I could do Dark Knight. Or I could go as Reaper. Oh, yeah. Black Mage, which is what I was before, or Dancer. But I need at least a level 50 job, and I think I will try this as... Uh, I think I'll try this as Dark Knight, because Clive is sort of kind of like a Dark Knight. Sort of a uh, guy fights with swords and all that other stuff. I've never played 16. 16 is always on the PlayStation 5. I don't have a PlayStation 5. It hasn't come to PC yet. Which I've heard it announced that I think that it's coming. Square Enix needs to speed up their release of, of their games. Anyway, let's start the quest. A land on fire. The neophyte adventurer seeks the warrior of light. Ooh, that's me. But forgive me my boldness. But you are Momo Shirai, are you not? Then, then my search is at an end. A, a begoogled, a be. Goggled gentleman tasked me 
to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not to share with me. Pray, remain he and I shall fetch him at once. Okay. These are hardly ever voiced. Greetings, champion. Ah, the wandering minstrel. Now, there's a story with this guy. This is Yoshi P's sort of persona in the game. He appears during the, um, the rising event. Sort of, the rising is sort of the anniversary uh, event for 2.0 or Realm Reborn launching. Sort of their thank you to the fans for sticking with the game through its initial, you know, when it first started, it wasn't really in a great state with 1.0, and he resurrected the game. Anyway, tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I've requested that you and you alone can, can I have a request that you and you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse one of purest white and the other blushed scarlet their courses set such that they might pass without collision sharply and suddenly the scarlet star shifted its trajectory high above a burning landscape did did its path intersect with that of the white star their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light, even in slumber. I was awestruck by the spectacle. What does it mean? Truth be told, mine own interpretation wavers. My rational mind says meaningless dream about this artist's soul and insists on prophecy. Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced the blazing white star represents the warrior of light in whom, in other words, you. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whosoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land that might dream that I might witness the visions demunent, demount. Dang it, and they're big words. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. The burning land. Hmm. The question is which territory in Aorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise. See the bowl of embers where I battled Ifrit, the burning wall, eastern Thanalan, place rich in corrupted crystal deposits. They can look quite fiery. Hmm. Members. Hmm. While it's while its relation to flame cannot be denied, mine instincts tell me nay. The scene from my dream was more ridge than bowl. A giant Flickering outcrop of crystal, mayhap, of course. Hmm. The burning wall. 
Ah, that cluster of immense crystal born of the seventh umbral calamity. I, it well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. First mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous Burning Wall at once. It is begun. Let's be gone. I will do this as Dark Knight. Let's see if I how far I get with this without any healing. I assume that I would get healing in uh, whatever fight there might be. Clive's there, he might give me healing. A lot of these events, they'll, they'll give you some kind of healing as long as you're not really screwing up. out today. thing? That's the burning wall. Headed towards that. would definitely be qualified as earning a lot of other people here. Okay, we found it. The Burning Wall. Name indeed. Tis said that these crystal line structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the land's ethereal, ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglass at the ready. Ah, I'm gonna do that sort of thing. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, they haven't done this in a while. Use your spyglass to look at stuff from the distance. Last time they did this was... Well, they first did this with Stormblood. You used the spyglass to look at things from the distance. What are we looking for? Hmm. Strange. Make an unusual discovery.
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh-huh. Found somebody. you to me? I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what waited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel. This stalwart hero here is Momo Karai. Might you have the... might we have the pleasure of your name? I, I, the last thing I remember was the ruins. Uh, my head, where, how did I come to be in this place? It would seem you were knocked senseless. Confused is to be expected. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a Fronistry position. I think that's Fronistry position. Look you over. I shall see how our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at uh, Scholar's Walk? at. Oh! Back in Udon. Okay. And... Right here. Don't often come here. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I am told he should be released soon. Hopefully, twas not but a but a bit a bite of bite of food. And, oh, <sighs> hopefully, twas not 
'twas not a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. I want that outfit. It was kind of you to wait, to wait, thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The, the psyker also noted no sign of injury or illness. Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? What, what whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Ulda strike you as familiar? No. Maybe I'm sim maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm. Not Ulda then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway between betwixt Ulda and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelve's Wood is in order. Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I should have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Just let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. entire situation has been knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Momo, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set our we can set out whenever you're ready. First quest done. The pain to recall. Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania the minstrel mentioned, is it far? Will we need mounts? By airship? You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're bound, we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Alrighty then. Steps of an old. Right, before, right in front of the lift. This is the airship landing. Momo, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? Foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. Is there no airship travel where you're from? So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to, how to wield it. 
foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet, hearing you speak of functional airships I felt confusion and disbelief for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. show us coming in on the airship or seen while flying on the airship nope that's a missed opportunity there I'm not to feel that racing wind the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I do not soon forget. So, this is Gridania. Seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Five is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to... Okay, they're doing this. All right, he's gonna follow me. This tavern, it reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Okay. Okay, we have to come up here. Chocobo. Now that's something I recognize. Yet, it's more than that. I had my own Chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But, it's... But as for when or where? An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. No, not nearly large enough. But when I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Okay, where is it taking us? It's over there. One side, one side. We're getting through. This is a truly beautiful place. Have you remembered anything else? Three flashes of this and that. Nothing to suggest I've been here before. I 
just can't shake the strange feeling, strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful. And that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with the Ixal. No sightings of Garuda. For which we are profoundly grateful. I ease, soldier. Did he say Garuda? You there, this Garuda you speak of. Sir, are you all right? Momo, do you know this gentleman? Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. It was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her. I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gridania owes a debt of gratitude to any who've stood against the, that destructive fiend. However, there is one, one more suited to the task than I. Our Elder Seed Seer is well versed, not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to still to Stillglade Fane. Stand Stillglade Fane, stand ready to escort our guest to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray find me at Nofika's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. save time by bringing us here. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Greetings, honored guests. It helps being the warrior of light you can get to see some interesting people. What happens when you save the entire frickin' planet? Commander Hilo. I think it's Helio. He yeah. It's how that's that sort of French name. I think it's Helio. Has appraised me of your friend's condition. This is he. Pleasure to meet you. I am Connie Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania. Thank you for your gracious welcome. I'm Clive, though beyond that I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please concern yourself not with proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakens some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Gridania, of Garuda, a wish easily granted. Garuda is the is the deity revered by the Ixal, a pixel, a, a people we want, who once dwelled here in the Twelveswood. 
He appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Momo has fought against Gruda in her, in her primal incarnation. Winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind, fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No. The will behind the monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's primals are not one and the same. Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his, his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local um, rumor, rumor monger were moms around, improbable to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts, I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star, Noctis. My brand, it's... It's the mark of a bearer. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. The root of bearer, Ifrit. Another primal's name. It would seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One's subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. So you think me from another world? And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth, the truth my mind refuses to remember. Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle, a drastic measure perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Momo. You, you are the twin of Clive's wandering star, 
Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you're if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at at Apakula Falls. Alrighty then. First, the path infernal. Clive seems somewhat bemused. The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I am willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We are to meet him at Apkalula Ap Ap Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Good, not far then not far then. Let's get on with it. Place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Luisois gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose to extinguish the, in the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit? No, something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? Clive recalled several words in the... Uh, so Clive recalled several words in the Elder Seed's here presence. Words which brought him pain. While the significance of bearer eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with the Greek. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, tis likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here where Archon Luisois paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my, will my words be given substance, and within the vision which takes form with you, do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, or your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining of your shining twin, your past awaits. Oh. 
where has he sent us? You stand in the bowl of embers, the site where the Amoja summoned their patron deity, and the stage upon which the warrior of light became a savior, became a slayer of gods. Tis but, tis but convincing illusion, the body of recount tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. Simile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No, not quite the same. Uh, there, that's that's the Ifrit he knows. find out who I am. Thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Momo. Oh yeah. Let's kick its ass. During the battle, you will gain access to special duty actions as follows. Use Rising Flame to change the foe to charge the foe and inflict eye damage. With the proper timing, you can use Dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within the area of enemy's attack. Certain enemy attacks will be uh, preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progress, oh, okay. Certain enemy attacks will be preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progr progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use the dodge action. When executing a successful dodge, the dodge action will change to Precision Strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. Okay, so these are sort of like the... Yep, they're exactly like it. Okay, there are like the abilities for uh, the Criterion event, the Criterion dungeons. So I'm guessing you press left and right, uh, the left and right sticks. If you press those, you'll execute them. 
Rising Flames, dodge. Rising Flames, dodge. Okay. Yep. That's right. That's what I thought. It's right. Okay, it's right stick. So good. Then Clive, okay. One of these.
Boy, I wish we could do that in, in the normal game. There we go.
getting him, we're getting him. Ouch, ouch. Another to spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose. All right. Then, it, but I accept the truth of it now. You are not a dream. Battle in the battle against my own mind went by too quickly. Intriguing. The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. This is Torgo, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle, no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Good doggo. Good puppy. Ah, that would explain the the aberration in the lingering aether. Torgal. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his harrowing his harrowing past and is doing so and in doing so, reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flame, he was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him, but Joshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. From that day onward, I lived for, for one purpose alone, to dominate a a dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. 
I spent years tracking the killer until one day I came to understand it had been me all along. I was younger and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish that caused this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search for answers that I went to Phoenix, Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I fought the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm, your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inad inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Aorgia from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see you home, we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your, your furry comrade will lead you exactly where we need to go. I've been playing this game for how many years and I still don't know my around, way around this city. Oh, there is the amphitheater. And let's take the wreath right there. Decorations for hatching tight are gone. Okay. Well, I need to go to the burning wall. Yeah, that was an interesting fight. They used a similar mechanic for the uh, Criterion Dungeons, where you lead the le one of the leaders of the country, like um, the one in Uda. I, I recently did the one for Ulda, where I lead, led Nanamo through, uh, through some underground tunnels. I didn't do so well with that, because some of the creatures down there hit really hard. I did that as Sage, I should probably do that as, um, I should probably go back and do that as Dark Knight. Dark Knight's a bit more thick-skinned.
the druthers. And you go to get drunk. Stuck here. Yes, I could have teleported, but you know, it's more fun going this way. is not the spot. Here it is. We've come this far. Now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation after all. Senses focus on me. Ready, Torgal, take me home. Ark. Ark. Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Minstrel will accompany you. Torgal will then begin leading you onward. Okay, they're doing the whole thing. I have to follow him. This one's new. This place is confusing as well. How long have I been playing this game? How many different events have happened down in here? You can get lost down in here. At least now you can fly in these regions. Well, that's after you uh, complete the level 50 quest. That's after you beat a realm reborn. You can then fly around here. Alright, I think... This is it. Is this it, boy? The tail ends where it began. where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds, but now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened, we all held dear the world underwent a mystical renewal. Twas as if the star was reborn. Our one theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of direst need. The Phoenix. Ah, this ties into uh, the coils of Bahamut.
The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix's deliverance. The bond with, bond with your brother, the phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, friend, no matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. Always, no matter what fate awaits at journey's end. Come, Torgo. We have answers to seek, and Bosch Day awaits. Then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. But nay, twould be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. That honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by the day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Momo. It's a fourth wall break if ever I saw one. <laughs> Whenever he speaks, he's almost always speaking to the player. Can you speak with the minstrel? Our little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was by a dream. Most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your persistent... As for your promised reward... I hope this is sufficient. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. May this loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. for the mount and I get the uh, copper for the gear ah, that's how they're gonna give it give us all okay it's level one gear so it's all glamour gear and that's it you can now exchange MGP for special items by speaking with the gold saucer attendee at the gold saucer oh and so that was the Final Fantasy 16 event. Not a very long one, but you know, very fun, very interesting. The dodge mechanics from 16 used in uh, 14. Not bad. 
Uh, I, I would hope we would have been able to fight the other, um, the other primals or the other icons or whatever they call them. But, uh, this was not bad. That was a different E3. Very different. A lot bigger, scarier. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Zorch. If you like this video, consider subscribing to me. And, um, following me on Rumble, subscribing on YouTube, whatever. I'm thinking of streaming more Final Fantasy. Getting into that. I'll be, uh, doing this and, uh, possibly more Star Citizen once the new update comes out. That's gonna be chock full of really good stuff. Anyway, uh, until then, I'm Mike Zorch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.